Believe it or not, DC's the least sensitive out of all of us. Jesus, bro. He is, yo. DC's DC's the I couldn't believe that shit. Got the strength of bitterness. Just callous. Got a callous Like a bulletproof vest. Got a callous I don't feel nothing. I hate you. Don't up and <laughs> The Sunday, Sunday Morning Smoke, Smoke Show. This is a home episode. This is a new little... We told you we were going to get the mobile podcast unit. I'm Dylan J. Negri, your host of Doped Up and Dying. Sitting beside me is the Dos Dos Don Bonio of comedy. Your other co-host, Kevin dos, Sanchez. Dos, this guy. This guy. <laughs> the what did he call you? It's a, he, he's trying to say the Dos Uno Dos Don Bandito. I'm Kevin Sanchez, and to my right is the other host of Doped Up and Dying, the Sunday Morning Smoke Show. Everyone's comedy hero, DC Williams. No, bro. <laughs> yeah, you... To my right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you already introduced the comedy hero. <laughs> the one, the only, Josh, the pallet. The pallet? I will say, maybe his nickname shouldn't be comedy hero because he's always right before the guest. So sure. we're like, yo. Is that his nickname? Comedy Hero? A, you know why? why? Ironically, yes. Yeah. Well, Don't say that. Why? Th- I'll tell you why. Because he made a crippled man walk. That is true. He made a crippled man stand. Out of a, he left the show? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> well, he, it's a miracle. He's a healer. He kept telling him to stop <laughs> laughing into the mic. You know? No, no, but uh, you, you know who's the, who's the look? He's who's fucking the up the mic. Mike Favor, Mike. He made Mike Favor Mike stand Favor, up because he looked. Yo, up. Mike Favor is a solid two hundred pounds, man. I carried him in his wheelchair. <laughs> I, I didn't. I pushed him in his wheelchair up a flight of stairs. Producers Club at the Producers Which Club. Is, how many flight? How many? How many stairs? That no, I pulled it. It's I pulled it. It's, but literally it's, one. it's a solid. It's, it's one. F- one. <laughs> it's <laughs> where Kevin sees stairs. He goes. What? He's one flight of stairs. There's one set of stairs that finishes slow. Kevin was like, yo, what's that, like seven flights? Yeah, yeah, they can divide that shit, yo. It's a very steep flight of stairs that I it fell down. Crazy. I fell down that flight of oh, stairs. Is that what happened? No, no, this is something else. You've fallen down the producer's I've fallen stairs. down those stairs more than once, didn't get injured, um, but Patrick Walsh fell down those stairs and broke his legs. So. Is that why he's... Wait, really? Do you remember that when he was rocking a cast? Like, oh, oh was, is that why he was? Cr- no. Yeah, I yeah. The only people that shit happens to. I keep fall. going back. Yeah. <laughs> not even still in the club. You just fucking going back. Like, can I do a show now here? Or Bro, it's crazy. Uh, even worse. Even worse. You know, Patrick Walsh, and I'm assuming maybe even Josh. The next time they're like, you know, last time I did a set here and left, I, I fell down the I stairs. I broke my leg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the crazy thing is they're uh, they're doing improvements in there now, and there's. Bare like uh, wooden banisters, with with uh, nails half cocked into it, mm-hmm. just like sticking out of it. So if you fall down those stairs, oh. you can land you're falling into like nails. a bar. Guys, so Albanian, such an Albanian. But come to the producers stuff. club tonight if you're watching this in the future and can travel back in time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hosting two shows back to back, Hell seven yeah. o'clock and nine o'clock. Come through, show love. You know, you might even get a lawsuit out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful on the stairs. <laughs> I, haven't been, Fuck, I, I haven't been to Producers Club in a while. And How's everybody? Oh, a guy, guy, you know, guy opens up for fucking Big J Okerson like 10 times. Yeah, you know, well, he's listen, too you know, big to be at Producers Club. Rightfully so. <laughs> well, you know what? To oh, his so. defense, he's only taking the playbook from you. <laughs> Right? Oh, this let's guy, get into this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Wait, guys, 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 this is a what classic. Happened? Don't up and die. Let's get into what this. Happened? This guy, DC Williams, get. Yo, I've never seen a dude change up quicker. <laughs> what? This guy, get, this guy <laughs> we just were passed about at the comic <laughs> strip. <laughs> the comic <laughs> strip live. <laughs> the place that Jerry Seinfeld, <laughs> Adam Sandler, and Chris Rock came on, from. Talk and then him, he goes, he goes, he goes, I ain't going up nowhere. Dog. But, 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 but DC, this person lets you go up every Friday, and Kevin has a show every Thursday. I was at Zona. Nah, nah, dog. I was at Zona. You know I was at Yo, Zona. Yo, DC, are you gonna like elaborate on your bits and build out stories and material? Hey, wait, wait, nah, wait. Nah, son, I'm becoming a, a one liner. <laughs> you remember? You remember? You remember? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I want you, you to find it? your one liner list. <laughs> okay, find you your one liner one? list. Can you find I have it. I notes? get a uh, list. It's in my head, bro. Oh, oh, give us, give us one. Bullshit. It Bullshit. Is. Is. Right the now. way you, you, you got that? all ninety-seven one liners. Remember that bro, day he at, showed up to New York Comedy Club yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was just reading, reading, and reading, blasting them all. I was, bro. I was fucking. What's that dead nigga's name? Momo Puja goes, "Hey, nigga, stop reading." Shout out, Momo Puja. This nigga reading Bible scriptures. <laughs> Yo, I was saying, I was saying some wild shit, but um, but yeah, yeah. But, and um, the Lord said, "Don't do open mics." <laughs> no, uh, I was, I did. You know, start, 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 start doing some of them. I was, I was sick of doing mics. Uh, I just, I had that really dumb joke about I, I ordered a couch for my uh, room instead of a mattress, and I still got bed bugs anyway. Like I was doing, jo- I was doing jokes like that. <laughs> <You're the horn. laughs> that shit like that. I was doing. It was just so like it was so punny. I was I'm trying to be to wordy you. and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit you. With so who did you fuck at the comic strip to get back? <laughs> <laughs> bro, DF Sweet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, oh my god, bro. Me and I was talking to Dylan because yesterday uh, DC Williams was talking with so much passion. I never seen him talk with this much passion, too, bro. bro. Huh? I, I, I was low, I was low key tripping too. He was tripping and, with, and, and drinking and drinking and but trying to get ready, bro. His 2020 <laughs> and trying to get rid of it. The only other person that's ever seen that much passion out of DC was Trevor Noah that day. Was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, DC you, was you making his of, omelet when he made his omelet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm bringing that story to the stage. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you got to, you got I'm to, bro. You, you don't have to keep adjusting this. It's, None like that. Yo, no, no, we need to do. Can we get little like hold like um like holds, <laughs> table shits, like uh, stands, so he can never never touch that. But yeah. where would he put it right here if he did it in here? You can get like the little hold, hold on, no. Kev, Kev had a good story about me. Go ahead. Please. What was it? I don't yeah. Know. Let's talk. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> you said last no, night. I was talking. About yo, bro. So, was yo, bro. Honestly, he remembers the. Oh, you talking about how my life got ruined? Oh. Yo, honestly, <laughs> DC. Oh, oh, that was. Can we so, talk about this, guys? Guys, I'm about to set it up. And then, go ahead, and, go are ahead. we allowed to? Yeah. So uh, yeah, we're allowed to. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. I told him I'm going to bring this up on the podcast. Oh, okay, okay. Then I go ahead. Then, then, yo, then fuck that. Then go ahead. So DC fucking, bro, I almost cried because I was on shrooms. He goes, <laughs> he started his 2020. Also, DC was talking for an hour. <laughs> so he almost <laughs> cried. <laughs> <laughs> God damn yeah. it, motherfucker, yeah. shut up. You don't cry when you cut onions? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying DC breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think that's what he was saying. Yeah, uh, that's not what you were saying? No, he said, yeah, tell your story. <laughs> Yo, we all laughed. <laughs> but like, I don't think Josh even knows what that joke meant. I don't know what that meant either. Though. I was like, yo. Nobody knows what it's provocative. <laughs> Comment now if you know what that joke meant. Gets, gets the, the people, people going. going. I hate both of you. All right, go ahead. DC right, so started 2020 $50,000 in debt, like owing renters. Can I prep or something? Go ahead. DC at one point, and I don't know if we talked about this, almost quit the podcast. Like, DC uh, was showing up late, and I know we always make jokes to show up late. Like, oh, a uh, black person shows up late, oh, black people time, DC Williams time. But it's like, <laughs> at one point, it was, getting to, it was getting to a thing where it was like, hey, man, I don't know if you're invested in this. And I'm not talking about recently, I'm talking about, like, before he started working with Kev. And then, come to find out this morning, d- yo, bro, he's telling me, he goes, Kev, $50,000 in there, because he was doing Airbnbs. Well, you, t- you want to tell the story? I mean, you guys. I was. I had. I had like four or five apartments um, here, and uh, and what were you doing with them? I was Airbnb in them. Okay. They're, they're getting rented out, so I can make a little bit of passive income while I was. By know, the way, a business. He Poor DC always... Williams owns three million dollars in, in real estate, <laughs> in but please. If you can only support him, it'll for a for a mere thirteen hundred dollars a day. I will, I will say, I'm most a lot of my viewers are probably Jewish, and they're like, "Oh my god, the pain!" <laughs> they get it exactly. And property then, loss uh, to twenty. What kind of backwards world is this? He owns the property, and they're not paying him. <laughs> Own the property. I, I just leased it and, leased. and leased it to people. You, oh, know you, know you were you were leasing the lease. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just oh, get a lease double. on the apartment. Oh. So DC Williams was breaking the laws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. rental <laughs> arbitrage. You know what I mean? I was okay. So, it's really not le- illegal, but go ahead. Uh, yeah, and um, oh, yeah, but that's what you were doing. February, yeah, February hit. <laughs> but wait, wait, before you, before we go into like how terrible life was, tell us how great life was in 2019. Life was, life was, get, life was really good. Life was getting so good. This guy booked his first commercial. Wait, what? Yeah. What, what, yeah, you, you talking about him? You. Yeah, no, no, I did. No, no, no. I was, I did. I was I, getting no, on I Netflix. Wa- I want to talk about you yeah, yeah, yeah. specifically. Leave no. Dylan out of this no, for I a know. second. <laughs> 
no, 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 no. Keep complimenting. Listen, bro. You don't. So it was. This is a couple, bro. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think people realize like. <laughs> no, me, he, he me, was killing it. No, no, no. But like I'm starting, starting to. Yeah. No, but it's funny because financially, yes, like DC was killing it. No, I'm not even financially. I was okay. I was just okay financially, but. Career wise, the the steps were getting taken. Like That's things were going. I, I think, on. Yeah, exactly. I think DC exactly. saying like, oh, if, like because uh, we had like um like same managers. Like we yeah. had, we had one manager that was the same mm-hmm. for uh, um booking like acting stuff. So I think when I got that uh, commercial in his head, he's like, oh, I'm booking things. Mm-hmm. Dylan just booked something. Mm-hmm. If he can book more things on TV, maybe me and him can and then right. eventually be in the same room, same set, you, same movie. Should, we're both psychos. Right. You, you, you saw, we you saw emotions. Exactly. exactly. Things were starting and to move in the right direction. That's what I was saying. It was just, and I was like, I'm going to book on? something. Booked on The Punisher as that episode of The Punisher, uh, CBS, The Bowl. Now on Disney Plus. You, I booked uh, a Spotify commercial for a voiceover. This which, is all in 2019. Is it's all ha- yeah. that, that shit just started sliding you, in 2019. Plus you had a regular job. Yeah, and he was on the background job. of SNL. I took pictures. <laughs> I've been in a hell of time with that. I don't even. I don't. That's not a credit. I don't credit that. That's that's me trying to pay my. Hey bills. man, you were smiling <laughs> real good in that. <laughs> dude, dude, that's me trying to pay my bills. I was going to say, wait, DC, can you just look around and give us your absent-minded SNL smile? That you <laughs> was doing? Was just give, the, just give us your SNL background smile. Honestly, anytime Pete Davidson wanted to shoot a music video, they would they would send me an email like, "Hey, you want to stand that's around and be one of the?" That should help me get laid that night. I was like, "Oh, that's my boy. He's on SNL right now." Let's go! <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So but can you imagine better get headed and having to pull your team? Like, he follows me, I swear. <laughs> Look, that's him! <laughs> yeah, all the, but shit was just, it was nice. And most of us getting better auditions, I feel. And you're making passive income doing Airbnb. Yeah, I was making passive income in doing New Airbnb. City. We were fucking working at Arlo and shit like that. But his you know, like, was it was English. Life was good. I met my girl yeah. at his fucking show. I, my, my Brandon. Zonas. Yeah, I, girl, I, Brandon I never seen his girl, and he brought her to fucking Zona Tribeca. Yeah, no, I remember you guys were like traveling around the world and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, yeah, yeah, yeah. She I was, was madly was taking you. Back places and, and shit. London. You was living the life. <laughs> what the hell went wrong? <laughs> I came back from Italy, February. <laughs> Wait, you came back, came back from Italy. You came February. back from Italy. Came back from Italy. That was February. you who did that shit to Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Came back from Italy. This Yo. Just had to tie COVID my life, in Italy, bro. Son. Came back that February. Was, did you at least you said COVID. Huh? I said at least you said COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't don't come on. Yeah, <laughs> that's YouTube. I'm just so, 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 so wait, so. So when Coca Cola happened, Co- yeah, 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 when Coca Cola uh, imported <laughs> their products oh, from uh, Japan, <laughs> oh, okay, and Canada. <laughs> but yeah, that's what. Bro, the pandemic hit. Woke up one day. Everyone was making fun of it for weeks, right? She just flew out here to surprise me for Valentine's Day. Then she flew back. Yeah, bro, we we get up. We see mass panic. Everybody's fleeing the country, bro. We go, We me and Brandon went to one of the apartments where we had someone staying there. This person's packing their shit up. I got to leave. I'm leaving tomorrow. We're just saying. Are, like, are you in, you're in the, the United States or you're in the yeah, UK? Yeah, we're in New York. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Another guy, my brother had like a long-term tenant somewhere. They're like, yo, we got to, we're, we're fucking leaving. We're, we're out of here. Bro, cancel. So many canceled bookings. And the back rent between the apartments was like close to like forty five thousand. By the way, bro. By the you way. didn't turn it into a brothel. Wait, what's wait, wait, wrong? Wait, wait. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Wait, wait, wait. You know what's so funny? My friends were like, "Yo, bro, if you want, like, I got." He was literally trying to say that, like, I know some more. Yeah, yeah I bro. Was just I mean, like, come bro, on. What are you wait, talking about? When the economy goes down, what DC, kind of wait, a wait, great wait. life DC would have been living right now if he just took the opportunity to hand it? Have a whorehouse. Have a whorehouse. So have stupid. multiple whorehouses. So we could have helped you run it. Bro. None of us would have to have jobs. I would have been right patient. One, of my, one of my exes subletted. Whore- subletted. <laughs> 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 yeah, but not this one. <laughs> <laughs> subletted her apartment. And it ended up being they were running a prostitution ring in oh, her apartment. My God. Yeah, and the cops yeah. like raided the place and oh, shit. Oh, that's what the story gets said. And she had to, you know, Ooh. she had to go and be like, "Hey, I'm not a pimp or nothing. Yeah. I just it's, subletted oh, my hilarious. fucking apartment." It, oh, so wait. Co- cops raid drug dealers' houses, right? Like racketeer, all that shit. What do you raid when you go into a whore? What are you raiding? You're just raiding women. You're, you're looking, Where's the pussy? Where's the pussy? No, Where is, like, no they're looking doing? for like documents. Because like, if you're an idiot, you're, you're like, for, you're keeping you're books and you're you have a computer sex. and you have client lists. You're just like looking that. for proof of paid sex. That's proof. why yeah, I yeah, told yeah. all my hoes to write their clients lists on their arms. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with the client? Don't, I don't get it, though. It's like Because, I mean, listen, people run it like a business. And if you keep records of an illegal business. They're just like, sir, yeah, there's, there's pussy juice don't, right don't, here. That's Pussy juice right here, too. 
You know, <laughs> that's how they that's how they get gangsters in the you end. You got a little that, bit of cum on your hair. Yeah, it's a whorehouse. That, like, <laughs> like, like that's how they got uh, Al Capone. You know who Al Capone yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. Was like, was the, that really how they got him? Yeah, that's how they got Al Capone. They My were, friend's dog, right? Huh? My friend's dog. Yes, your friend's dog. But also <laughs> a notorious gangster from the 50s. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this dude, like, you know, he ran shit. And they were mm -hmm. trying for, like, 20, 30 years to fucking get this dude. But people were, like, not ratting. And, like, Is people... that the dude that's buried in a giant stadium? I don't No, no, that's Jimmy Hoffa. Okay. <laughs> also, the technology, I mean, it probably was going to take forever. They had Tommy guns. So, but in the end, no, but in the end, they could, yeah, that's what it was. They were, they were, these are the dudes who, like, they were sh rolling up to police with machine guns mm -hmm. when cops just had little, mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna pull out my pistola, and these guys are like, <laughs> da, 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 da. you know, they're yeah. fighting them with like World Father War Two. You say pistola? Yeah, Rick yeah. yeah. Bob, pull out your pistola and your whistle. They had a whistle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, da, 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 da. Stop bootlegging. It was, <laughs> was dumb, but in the end, in the end, the way they got Al Capone was fucking through his finances. They got him for tax evasion. Mm -hmm. Rico, right? and that, no, he was, Rico. Also, he no, was also. There was no Rico yet. Yeah. No yeah, Rico yet. Rico came in the eighties. Yeah. Rico came in the 80s. But would you say it's like pre-Rico because it's like tax evasion and yeah, well, yeah. to Re some degree? Rico was when they were they started the whole thing where they could process you if you get caught in one right. part of working in a gang a with CEO. the entire yeah. gang, mm -hmm. you know? So, mm -hmm. But yeah. I'll, I'll, getting back we'll to nice DC's uh, worst moment of his life. <laughs> well, my life was going to shit. I got past the comic strip after all that. I, shit was going You turned good. into an asshole. It was going good. I didn't turn into an asshole. I, was just I made like, Trevor Noah omelet. I was, omelet. So, I was <laughs> so happy. I did not have to just keep like Wait, also, to also, I want, also, I wanted to say this. Uh, when you got all those cancelings for Airbnb, mm -hmm. do you ever, stop. because of all the jobs that you had and all the times that you've been late in no call, no show, do you mm -hmm. thought that? Do you think that was like God's way of giving it back to you? No, I thought. I thought <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I, no, no. I know it's funny. Real question. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought when Richard Teakin died, when Richie died from the not comic the strip. Well, no, no, no. When he died, that's when I was like, Oh, God was fucking with me. He was like, oh, oh, you oh, thought you were going to make, you thought you were oh, about to be at the comic the one, strip. By the way, comic wow, club. God yeah. killed a man just to fuck you bro, over. Bro, that's how I felt. I was like, bro, literally a couple months in, I'm like, oh, then it's a group chat. Richie Tiggins passed. Da, da, da. I was like, wow, bro. That would happen to me. That's why I thought so. I was like, way, that would I happen to DC me. DC goes, yeah, they must not have my name there anywhere. I would ne I'm never going to show up again. She's never gonna show up again. One dude died, and you never went back to the comic. Wow. Oh, they scrapped the late night. Oh, no, that's man. not true. That's not true. He told me last night what happened. He re auditioned. Yeah, yeah, they, right? made, they made, yeah, but they that was a year after. Did you know that? Who? DC re auditioned. Yeah, they made everybody re auditioned. Right? And then he never, like, they never, hit, what happened with they Tom? Ne they oh, never they, hit, a, they, they, they never hit anybody back. back. And then the, the one or two people, I think they uh, called I, back. Why you gotta blow the, made, and made, then they re auditioned him, and they said, no thanks. You think they, you think nobody got past DC? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, they don't do comedy there at all anymore. Bro. I heard they just have a bar there and they serve Bro. drinks. Nobody, <laughs> nobody who is worth <laughs> talking about got past it. Hey, hey. <laughs> they didn't pass anybody. Everybody that performed that night did very well. Got standing ovations. The crowd was. Today's it. episode is brought it to you by bitterness. <laughs> it wasn't enough for time. Bitterness. bitterness. <laughs> when life hands so, you lemons, get bitter. In, in my opinion, no, when life hands you lemons, you make limelight, baby. That's what I do. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> man, this shit's getting oh, extra man. bitter. <laughs> hey, and well, yeah, that's what happened. So yeah, if you guys are gonna be audition, I would advise you to bring some people, or else he's not passing. Oh, oh no, 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 shit! No, no. He said y'all do a bringer if you want to pass. <laughs> did did we ever tell like, DC what what happened, or did you? He gave me some half-assed story about how. how oh, you did, guys, did you? Did you give bro, they guys, passed all three of us, bro. We're working there full time. They told me full time. I'm sorry. They told me. Three way high five. One, two, three. You guys, you guys going on after rap report? <laughs> Damn. Yo, who the fuck is this DC guy, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Going off the rap report. You used to be past. <laughs> you were a midnight comic. A midnight you're comic. Fucking yeah. nobody, you fucking nobody, bro. Nobody. Yeah. Hey, Ari. All right, so. <laughs> I, know, I just know I was the only person that got past that night when I auditioned. But Let's anyways. go. But anyway, I, I will say, uh, hey, young blood, you ever hear about the time I got passed? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, That's DC. what I would be saying if you would say to you. No, you're not, no, bro. You're gonna be past a million other places, bro. DC, I'm gonna say DC would be that person to be like, you know, like, don't be James Mercedes. I was passing the comic strip once. <laughs> <laughs> 
And then you know, the, if he never died, he was going to put me on SNL. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get one laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Let me get one laugh. <laughs> Let me get one ha. Give me a laugh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm dead, bro. But yeah, Can man. Can I get one late night spot? That uh, was it. No, dude. Uh, um, we uh, me, me and Kevin, uh, 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 for young comics and people who don't know, the Comic Strip Live is a um, uh, comedy club that's on the Upper East Side. Jerry Seinfeld, Adam Sandler, Chris Rock, infamously, not infamously, famously came from there and uh, uh, recently had uh, auditions again, open auditions as they call them, for uh, spots on their house shows. And the reason I'm saying all this is because me and Kevin went in there and did some wild shit. I mean, we were... Sometimes you know. Was it what's her name doing the auditions? No, 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 no. no, 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 no well, no. he passed away. She's so. she not gone. Hmm? No. Um, Kim, is that because I auditioned for them when I first no, started like, comedy. It was awful, bro. Yeah, yeah. No, listen. Really there's two bad. new people, and there's another guy, and um, they actually seem really cool. When I, I when I when I went in there, like same thing as last time. You're like, who are ninety percent of you? Where are you guys coming from? It's just, a, and there is people in there that's the first time they're ever doing comedy for sure. That's oh, so right. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a lot of that. Oh, year. that's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, oh, that's so easy. But when uh, we got the tickets, the the dude who gave the speech before, I kind of do you remember his name? The one, um, uh, um, no, he was honestly really cool. And like the way they said they were like, listen, uh, the late night is scratched, but we're just not. That's not how we're doing it. You guys all get the auditions. Um, we're sp- sprinkling out through actual house shows to give you guys an, an opportunity. Obviously, if you invite people, better chance, whatever, whatever. And uh, I just feel like me and Kevin, you know when you feel like you made a statement? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, when you stick out. When yeah. you stick out. And right. I'm not even trying to say it in a cocky way. I mean, in a way where he was like. I'm different. He was just like, oh, um, to both of us, it was like, oh, no, me and Kevin really like, kind of stood up. We really are comics, sir. <laughs> we really do this, okay? No, because they, they want to they start, um like, podcasting stuff over there. And, right. And the, the dude was interested about that. And I was like, hey, man, I have a podcast. Hey, man, I kind of run gas digital. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, I don't know if you ever heard of me. You get one spot. I might be called Dills and Nike. Uh, you might know that. <laughs> have you ever heard of the name but no, Young It's a great Dale. stage. I hope you guys get past. It's a great place for young comics to develop. And I think you guys have a lot of potential. And um, Don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, old man. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a the great place for you guys now, to develop your man. craft. Hey, young bloods, man. You I think know? y'all got a good chance <laughs> of getting past. When we both get past the comicship, <laughs> you want to kick DC off the podcast. <laughs> 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 you, got a, you got a third co-host right here. Dog. Right. I'm going to go get past. I'll get past. I also, dude, don't do that shit you did the first time. call it dope. Doped up and passed. <laughs> Doped up. <laughs> Doped up and passed. <laughs> what, what did he do the first time? Uh, I, I don't know what he did, bro, but that night. That I got I got told to come back next year because yeah, he I'd back, probably get passed. Came back next year. You guys got the funniest relationship in the world, man. Ooh. You like, I think Dylan, Brothers? like, Hold on, let me, let me. you build, like, DC up much more often, and he shoots you down. No, often. what? Yeah, dude. It's a, what? It's a very uh, this guy's, toxic what? relationship. This guy shits I, on I, me, I, bro. I'm really happy it's finally coming to light. I know people wow. Are, when the cameras turn off, this dude, and that's Jewish why thing. we got are, the mobile Is that why you're wearing the glasses? Or? Are you, you have a black eye, Dylan? Sad, what? dude. Oh, shit. Bro, what'd you do <laughs> to him? DC, up, honestly, bro. I've been wanting to talk to you about, about this, what? About what? You really bro, put down our friend Dylan. Dylan, you even with the Even with the grand opening, he was the first one to be like, yo, I'll be hosting with you. I'll be right there hosting with yeah. you. You wow. would shoot it down at every turn. Yeah. yeah. This is an intervention, actually. That's why actually, I'm here DC, today. You need to become a better person. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> what is happening? We're right here now, with so the comic strip, I actually. Have <laughs> <laughs> we have a great opening comedy club on August 6th. Yeah, and, we do. And, and I asked my best friends, yeah. three, uh-huh. my podcast partners, if they would host with me. Right. And Kevin said, buddy, whatever you ask of me, I'll be there. Right. DC said, yeah, dude, right. I am not... Right. Nah, I'm not doing that. I will right. never host with you guys. Wow. That's that's the way history r- remembers it. Wow, you know? breathtaking. Because you know, I get to re- rewrite it. Yeah, we we re- rewrote history. You did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Jewish. We get to do that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Kevin's Jewish. <laughs> Honorary. Honorary Jew. I'm blessed by. He's Hashem. vegan, so yeah. just no say. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, when because d- uh, uh, listen. You are a shitty person. What are you trying to say? <laughs> DC? What? By the way, we're all no, fucking with honestly, DC. Honestly, DC, we love you. We're all fucking with DC. This, we, everything we in the last like, two minutes has been sarcastic. <laughs> we, you don't think we love you? Yeah, why are you saying it? It sounds so serious. We like, love you, we, we love you. We love you, man. But there's things you got to change. Like, like what? All right, for instance. What? Your breath. 
Your socks. Your socks. <laughs> Why? My socks are fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two packs are done. What? Two nah, packs are done. Nah, also, nah, nah, nah. I don't like your pants right now. <laughs> really? Why? I'm on my sweat nylon. Game. I have no nylon pants. That's, anyway, not, that's sweats. not nylon. That's nylon, dog. <laughs> that's, that's like actually, um, your po- polyester pants you can't rock those. Close, but it got some cotton in it. You got some, some elasticities in, in that bitch. You know, this but is what it's just a fire wearing. hazard. I'm just happy he has <laughs> new clothes. This, this is what you should be wearing, bro. Loose, fitting, stretching, oh, adjustable. Shit. You know what I mean? You damn, bro. Damn, bro. Not jean. No, just <laughs> We're trying to lift you up here with no, conversation. No, nah, dude. We really need baby. more people in this room to lift Kevin up. Yeah, dude. Fuck that. Uh, don't don't run around like a black man. Please fuck stop that. doing that. That's so funny. Get a whole lot of that last night. Yeah, we. Yo, bro. See, why, why, why do you have to? Why do you have to add color to running around? Why do you? Why are you? Because only black. Because only black. Because only. 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 Because yeah, you're anti BLM. Do you I'm think anti- I'm not anti BLM? Are That's you anti woke? Am I anti woke? No, I'm not. What I am, dude, I'm is, BLM, no, MIB, no. whatever you want. <laughs> I'm anti too many people going in one direction. Mm, mm. I like mm. that. Yeah, because yeah, so. I'm, I'm struggling with that right now. Where I'm thinking like I'm not anti woke, mm-hmm. but I'm not woke. But for some reason, I hate wokeness. Is that weird? Overly, because in the comedy space, you hate it because that's what ever, all the content turns into. You're always Why does that have to be labels, but, man. But you're hyper aware of like KC culture and shit, and because you're always expressing I'm way yourself, hyper aware of it. That's why everybody. So and let then, me ask you a question. So like, there's a, a drug dealer. He happens to be African American. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's he's got a gun on him. Mm-hmm. He's already shot at the cops. Mm-hmm. Now you got crazy gung ho John Wayne cop coming. Mm-hmm. Who are you rooting for? Who am I rooting for? Yeah. <laughs> you rooting that for? that situation, I'm not really rooting for... You're not rooting for anyone? There's going to be a shootout. Who are you rooting for? Who do you want to win? Everybody wants shootout. one winner. That's the thing. I call... But this, you call your drug dealer way more often than you call the cops. All right, listen. I'm not... We're not asking me this question. No, but you guys yeah, know. Hey, you guys hey, can hey, all hey, relate hey, to that. Hey, 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 hey. That was hey, diplomatic. Hey, hey, hey. hey, 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 hey. Nailed it, all right. Like you call like your drug that. dealer way more often. Nah, bro, you lost. You got DC. First of all, I've heard that case before but ah, i'm not i'm not on. listen i'm not pr- for one of the wait I'm did you say this guy you. was a drug dealer i'm saying, saying one of them shooting. is a drug dealer oh, okay and he's shooting okay at the cops. and he shot at the cops and now it's you self-defense. got and now you got this john wayne cop oh wait technically it is self-defense why is it why are you infringing on his right to make his own business I, ag- I agree with right? you but unfortunately uh, according to the state penal code that business is not penal. of legal nature Mm. Yeah, penal, penal. Penal. I don't like that penal. government can tell you how to make money. Yeah, I don't like that they can they can stop you from making money. Listen, government I know this is a communist comedy, television dude. show. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? How's that communist? <laughs> That's be- the most capitalist thing in the world. Because be like- so you so you th- listen Wait, again. I'm not talking? taking a position, but are you you're saying that um, illicit drug dealing should be okay? Yes. You do. You agree? I with believe that. that. So, I mean, and, it is okay. So, but you believe then also that like drug dealers should be like rolling around with guns to protect their business, of course. But what I think, every, I, think I think everyone should be rolling around with guns to protect themselves. Kevin, All right, guys, we're cutting to the, uh, the what's tapes. What's happening? This guys, is a comedy podcast. This is dope. This is not a comedy podcast. No, it's not. This is this is, uh, this <laughs> this is, is fucking. This is the round this table of fucking. By the way, this is Josh trying to save a bit for the last two minutes. No, no, no. It's not a bit. No, he's being for real. He has a serious question. No, I was I was trying to get DC. Who would you rather? Sh- who? No, I'm rooting for in that scenario. Who? The yeah. 7-Eleven owner who's probably sitting behind there, going like, "I hope no bullets fucking hit me in this fucking straight shootout." That's very sweet of you. Brian. I was looking at this guy. Yeah, yeah. About <laughs> you're such a gentleman. Fellow Indians. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that, <laughs> guys. It's still the Padai, the Sunday morning smoke show. Let's get into some plugs. Natalie, cue the plug music. Awesome, man. Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome, <laughs> guys. I'm. Thank God for let's post-production. Let's go to Josh, our, our, our guest. But also one of my best friends, one of the guys. I mean, when Josh is here, it feels less like there's a guest here, more like there's just a fourth mic. Yeah. So, Josh, wow. please lead us on the. I feel like um, a financial criminal is here. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he can leave. That's why he can leave every in the three room. months. <laughs> what? Dude, that's a, like a, a great compliment in a way. <laughs> you look like a Dude, white collar criminal, right? <laughs> Dude, we're never allowed to like uh, we're never allowed to say like when this is recorded because he's a fly back to another country, so they can never know when he's here. <laughs> Dude. 
Just for the record. That's what he, by the way, that's why he dresses yeah. like this. Go he gets ahead. off the plane, goes to the first store he sees, buys his clothes there. <laughs> you, you wouldn't do that if you had blood all over your clothes. <laughs> the fuck? Joshua Palin, tell him where to find you. Follow me at Joshua, J-O-S-H-U-A, P-A-L-E-D on uh, Instagram. So um, that, that's Twitter. how you spell Joshua? Yeah, J-O-S-H-U-A. P-A-L-E-D, that's my last name. Facebook. Joshua Palin. Follow me at Joshua Palin. Follow Kevin and I's podcast at the Mac Almanac. It's not really dead. It's just no, 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 okay. in a coma. Right? Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Can I? Um, we're gonna. If it's, if it's okay with you, we're gonna alter what you said right there. We're gonna okay. re-edit it. Can you just say? It's okay with you. Can you just say follow our podcast? Me and Kevin, doped up and dying. Thank you. Okay. Please follow our podcast, Me and Kevin, Doped Up and Dying. Rest in peace, Dylan. I'm so sorry what happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> At least we have the better half, DC Williams. I'm going to make Natalie edit Boy. where it says rest in peace yeah. and then put in the Mac Almanac. <laughs> <laughs> and follow at Mic'd Up NYC. I host a couple of mics there. Uh, if you're, a if you're, shows. And if you're a young shows comic monthly. in New York, New York City, uh, check Joshua yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, this so much. There are no comics younger than us, bro. We are the young comics, bro. Yeah, we are the and young comics. And you're the youngest. <laughs> you guys are wrong. You're you guys are wrong. <laughs> you guys are wrong. I, I, I'm, I'm being, I'm you guys being, are wrong. I'm being real with you. This is why you guys are... What? Not opening up the big jokers. <laughs> <laughs> DC Wilms, do your plugs. <laughs> you plug in here. Anything else to plug? No, that's it, man. Make sure you follow Doped Up and Dying, the dopest doped up show on doping. <laughs> that should be our new intro. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Follow me on Instagram at DC Does It. Uh, Mungo and Oxtail, second to last Friday of every month. Me and your boy Kevin Sanchez, and we got doped up comedy club coming, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> oh, I like, I like your yeah, bitch. Yeah, bitch. So why y'all worried about getting passed here and there, Ooh. motherfuckers? Is just gonna be giving themselves <laughs> stage time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all talking about pass. I went up after TJ Miller. Who gives a fuck? Nigga? Hey. <laughs> I'll give TJ Miller stage time. <laughs> I opened up for Mark about, Norman, hey, motherfucker. About, <laughs> as, 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 the, as the head of the operation, everything you just heard was wrong. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> give me some time, bro. <laughs> so I don't want to. Like, Kevin Sanchez. <laughs> ITS Kev Sanchez on Instagram, ITS Kev Sanchez on Twitter. Uh, Mongol and Oxo, second and fourth of the month, until Shannon's done with you. Yeah. 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 And uh, <laughs> April 6th, Dope Up and Dying, the Comedy Club, opening up. Come through come to on, that. Come on. Um, the man. Comedy Club come grand on, opening. Bro, the grand opening. Coming. I promoted the that shit like crazy, but I got a whole group chat. Look, we're, the people every, are coming. Every, are coming. every uh, August 6th, grand opening, Dope Dope Comedy Club, Shaking. and 66 Greenpoint at the bar. Guys, come out, hang out. And then, and then every, every week, Friday and Saturday after that, starting at 9 p.m. Let's go. 9 to 10.45, and then after party after. The, the, there's going to be DJs always after, events always playing after. We're even talking to a, I went to a sexy party as they call it in Brooklyn. Girls taking pictures, making out in like a little a little jacuzzi pool, a little mm. inflatable. Titties, That's the vibe of Dope and Dying comedy show. Titties out. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> talking them to do the after show. Oh, yeah. Talking yeah. them to do an after show. So, Same. guys, stay tuned. Doped Up, doped up Comedy Club, 66 Greenpoint. That's on 66, isn't the tonight list? Place we got. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, you know, you uh, follow me at Dylan J Nuggy. Follow Dope Dope Comedy at Dope yes, Dope Comedy. Sir. Almost, I, I want it, when yes, Dope Dope Comedy gets to one K, I'm gonna feel better about anything in my life because I never thought that fucking dumb pet page would get anywhere. So it's awesome that you guys are following it. Seriously, yeah, thank bro, you. Don't follow me. Honestly, fuck me. Go follow Dope Dope Comedy, please. Yeah, man. Go follow Dope Up Comedy, please. Let's make it the biggest shit ever. We're trying to start a wave out here. Yeah, bro. And y'all motherfuckers got to come with us, we bro. We want the cause... stories. We want rappers. It's going to be really annoying when we do make it. And like all the fans are like, oh, my God. Da, da, da. It's like, like just a massive amount of fans. And DC's going to be like, yeah, bro, I did this shit. But <laughs> I did. We did this shit, man. This but what happened with it. the comic strip then, brother? <laughs> what, what happened with that? Comic strip is dead, bro. Comedy <laughs> clubs are obsolete. It's like your career. <laughs> okay? The new shit is having your own comedy club, bro. That's right, baby. That's it, bro. That's what we're doing. Cocoon we're Keeping style. it moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, dude, I'm... I'm I can't wait to be passing the comic strip. <laughs> it's gonna be dope. You say that, but you about to see your boy DF Sweetler? 
I'm about to be like. Did you see him? Was he there when you went? Nah, but me and him have a secret handshake. You know? Oh, you guys do? <laughs> we have one of those like finger ones. <laughs> I bet you do. I bet I you do. Who you guys talk about. I'll have fun when he bumps y'all. When he passes. <laughs> hey, can I go up before Dylan Nergery? The dude's going to clay. He's going to walk the whole fucking room. Oh, really? That's what he wants. That man's Bitterness. Walk. Bitterness <laughs> is here to stay. Wait, what <laughs> is this episode brought to you by, by Bitterness? Bitterness. <laughs> When you talk, do you scrounge? Bitterness. <laughs> Bitterness. Bitterness. Did you get past? Look at this thing. Did you get past it? Did you get, did you get past it? A world famous comedy club and <laughs> not anymore. Falter? Yes, I did. Bitterness. Yes, I Bitterness. Did. Bitterness. I was killing it over there. Ain't nothing more bitter than a DC yeah. bitter. <laughs> <laughs> DC don't get did, bitter. DC did you, get better. Did you own bro. seven properties and then God said, "Nah"? Hey, when you go to the bar tonight, are you gonna go? Let me get a. DC old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> Extra bitters. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the comic strip closing, please. <laughs> can I get an order aside? I order aside of that. Can, can I get a DF bump me, please? <laughs> oh. <laughs> two of those. Let me get two of those. Bro. Actually, actually, scratch that, scratch that. Let me get a, let me get a let me get I only do check spots. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Yo. invite me unless I'm headlining. <laughs> yeah, facts. That's how I be feeling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so asinine. <laughs> <laughs> That's blasphemous. You got something to Stephen A. Smith Yo, right now, dog. You got to demand your spot in this world. Dixie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Williams got the unlimited goal. <laughs> just saying, man. I'm just saying, bro. Come correct. Yo, the other day I was... <laughs> um, guy, no, no, no. Was, <laughs> no, no. You're not, you're not moving away from that. You're not moving away from that. Come correct, dog. <laughs> Sit in that. Sit in it. Marinate. Come correct, Marinate. man. You know? Because... I don't know. Josh, you've been doing comedy for how long, Josh? Like eight years or something like that? Yeah, no, five. Five, 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 four, seven, whatever it is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, after a while, you just like quit. No, you don't. You don't need to be <sighs> quit, but you're just like I ain't good. You know, <laughs> you know, like in the beginning, comedy dictates your life. Yes. And then as you get further, like you try to figure out how how do you dictate comedy? How do you get comedy to revolve a little bit more around you in a sense of nah? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't mean. So you think about it wrong. I'm talking like doing comedy. Like, you're, you used to go everywhere, right? I'll randomly see you going to Creek in the Cave, blah, 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 right. out till late in the morning. Whereas opposed to, like, you're doing mic'd up NYC, open mics and shows there. Right. You have enough stage time for your practice. You don't need to run around as much. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I still do, though. I try to. Try to, but you know. if you He's, find a place way, to practice. By the way, I hope you know, again, to the young comics that apparently maybe aren't or not all listening to anyone out there, DC's wrong. No, I'm run not around. wrong. This is literally what I told Shane in the beginning. Run Establish around. a place for you to give yourself stage time, time. week after week. That's you will get better yes, faster. Yes, but, yes but it's imperative no. that you do it at other places. Of course, yes. I didn't yes. say one place. You got to get saying, like multiple crowds. But, you see, that's the opposite. It sounds like that's what you were saying. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is you could run yourself ragged okay. like the beginning, doing two, three mics a night, trying to be here. And I'm there, saying anywhere you go, job. it just gets bitter, man. It's just <laughs> bitterness everywhere. After a while, you're like, why run around all the comedy clubs when none of them are gonna pass you anyway? Bitterness. You can find your bitterness. In a place by itself. You know what's so funny about getting Bitterness. past the comic strip? That's the same joke <laughs> that huh? made this thing have a meltdown. <laughs> that fight what do you club. mean? What do you mean? Remember when I was, what was the, the joke was? Hey, yo, don't bring up such <laughs> Travis. Such, bro, that's worse than 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> It was because he had my that way, joke about my bomb. I found pictures him. of it the other day on my phone. I did really? Yeah. Watch yeah. it. I thought I had videos. It's oh, you so have funny. a video. It's on YouTube. It's, it's on YouTube. Oh, you got YouTube. hella views. You should delete wow, that, bro. You should, I should, we should react to that on the Patreon. It's on the guest digital. Video. I would become it's a super villain about. just to blow up YouTube <laughs> and destroy <laughs> it's it. On rap. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but as uh, speaking of meltdowns, the boy killed at the stand the other day. Didn't have one there. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> that's literally what he just said. Wait, wait, ready, 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 ready. Speed of meltdowns, I didn't have yeah. one. <laughs> Still, speed of meltdowns, I didn't have one at the stand, and I did good. Made it to the end. <laughs> didn't punch anything when I got off the stage. Didn't assassinate the audience. <laughs> Everyone walked home with their lives that night. Everyone got home safe. <laughs> <Dylan's>, <laughs> no, good night. No. I'm Dylan Negri. I hope all of you get into a fucking car accident. <laughs> Why do you have to only focus on the bombs, man? <laughs> no, no, but you did good. You did good. At the I, stand. I will say. Though, he told me that too. I will yesterday. say though, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm very happy that uh, my bombs are memorable. Also, yeah. they are. They're, they're very. They're some of the most. As long as they bombs, remember bro. you, that's what's important. And I told him that that night. That's not what you want. But I'm not I'm gonna sorry. Lie. Who? I, I think I saw want. you in comic strip one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what's your name again? <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't make sense to clip this, but we're clipping this because that's such a good comic I'm burn. Dead, bro. I'm dead. All right, do your plugs. I was, though, I was, though, man. I was for a minute. 
Listen, hey man, Rich said I reminded him of Eddie Murphy. Okay, that's all that matters to me. By the way, because <laughs> he's left way. with a transvestite. Oh, by the way, that's not a good. The way, that's not it's a good all that matters that's not to a me. Good, okay, you have the gap. It's like, hey, and it's, it's just that. Man, shut the fuck up. I want you to look at me. I want to thank you. Do an yeah. Eddie laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that an Eddie laugh? Like, that's that's like Fat Albert or some shit. That was closer than me. Close though. Close. Oh, yeah. Which is actually Bill oh. Cosby. No, no, no. What's funny? That's, uh, that's Bill Cosby uh, laughing when the this, stuff DC, kicks in. The set that he told you to be good at, I had a better set. Oh, at the stand? Bro, I was on stage mm. with a fanny pack on. Mm. Oh, no. Nice, gangster. Probably one of my best. My Dude's life. on his. Uh, what's that dude's name? Do you account it to the fanny pack? Hmm? You think because you wore the fanny pack, that's why it happened? Do you, are you always gonna nah, wear a fanny pack? I just feel like I don't know. It's been a, w- a weird week where I've actually like, but I put it in my mind. I was like, I want to get up this week. I've been getting up this week. And I'm not trying to like stunt. I'm literally just like really been happy with my progress. And I've been doing new jokes. I told him this. Just kind of threw out some shit that I was like, I don't know. I had that whole Friday. I, I did 24 hour binge. The, the drugs right re- you're soaking in my it. mind and it was like bro i just got on stage and i never bro i felt like i was just talk, like it was just a talking to a room of yeah. people and i was like oh i'm heading in the right direction this feels yeah. great dude. i was on the fan but all my new shit i'm like oh, when you say feels great are you like high and you don't really know what you're experiencing or bro. like it was really happening were- bitterness <laughs> 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 was it was I it really good? Was it really good? <laughs> or did you think yeah, it was good? Yeah, what was happening? Was it, was it the drugs? Was it the drugs? What drugs you doing? Mm, I don't know. No, no, no. That's good though. That's good though. That's good. <laughs> no, it is because Kev was telling me that last night. <laughs> I did that story one stop. <laughs> Let it get one stop. It's a good story. It's a good story. It's a good story. <laughs> no, but uh, it was, uh, no, it was one of those sets where it was really fun. Shout out Natalie Cuomo for throwing me up. Um, no, uh, Leah Janine for hosting. It was just funny because I walked up there and they were just like a weird crowd. Right before I got up, the dude, uh, as I'm sitting on the bench, goes, "Good luck, man. This crowd sucks." Oh. I was like, and in my head, sounds <laughs> like that's my crowd. That <laughs> no, no, no. In my head, I go. Like, not only that, that's my crowd. You suck. No, 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 no. I was like, in my head, I go, well, they haven't met me yet. Don't worry. This is like, but like, I, I, by by the way, I love Janice Broadway shows because they made me love that. When you see an audience you're like, feel bad for who are just like, aren't getting like, like what they, satisfaction. Right. I'm like, I walk, I'm like, yo, dude. Go, go be a fucking performer. I honestly no. don't know what it's like to not satisfy an audience. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> no, it's for real. It is. And you try Everything to figure out. Mal- like, should we, can we put him into a lie detector for yeah. every episode? <laughs> <laughs> lie detector <laughs> says that that was a lie. <laughs> this lie detector is brought to you by <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to. You know says I mean? here, you are not on the comic strip. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's how dope. No, and, and Who's then, and that dope, can, though? Who? And then we can do the video of him running around. <laughs> ah! Who's that dope, dope, dope. Dope. I'm so dope, I'm so dope, I used to be past the comic strip already. No, now I'm, you're just dope. And I'm not even that old yet. You know what you are? 29. You're, you're, you're maybe, co- maybe that's another meaning for dope to be dying. Only 29. Doped up is the first part of DC's career. Dying is the second part. <laughs> That's why I came up with the name. You're DC's welcome. comic <laughs> stripped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm that dead. Was that was a good one. That was a good pun right that there. Was, yo. That was that you was, got to though. That was God. That was God. <laughs> I was like, reach your. I was like, uh-uh. yo, you fixed the mic and you went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm mad. yeah, yeah bro, I cooked your ass. It is. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. Uh, yo, is, is, that, that you think a, his audio? Be you breaking the mic. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing all this shit. When I'm like, what see, we're getting you a, 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 you a cordless stop. mic. You gotta stop, dude. I got you. I got you. You gotta bro. stop, dude. You gotta chill. I get it. You know I'm gonna start performing breathe. with this shit breathe, right breathe, here. Breathe, breathe. I'm gonna start doing that. Like Janet Jackson. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start doing comedy like that. People well, gonna hate wait, me, bro. Can, this, can we just instead of that for now because it's cheaper? Can we just duct tape it? Yeah. Oh, so I was on the train the other day. <laughs> um, no, nah, but uh, I, 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 I will say this, and I, I, I just I, I got to give myself a little flowers. And also, by no, the no, way, no, no, bro, you shout out you to my shout out to my homies for uh, championing me on Monday. Uh, the Legion of Skanks audience chanted Dylan while I uh, got my first little throw up at the stand. Yeah, yay! And then from then, I've done now uh, uh, three sets this week at the stand, and mm-hmm. you have no nice. idea like. That feels like I texted my mom about it. I was like, "Mom, it might not be happening." <laughs> no, she wouldn't shut up about parents, it. They'd be like, "Are they paying you?" And you're like, "Come 
mom, 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 chill. Yeah. Mom, chill. Right. It ain't like, like that, you yeah. Don't, you, don't, you don't even get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I shouldn't even told you. <laughs> you never understand me. Bitterness. <laughs> Bitterness. <laughs> By the way, I did fun. I, I, I don't know. I, I was just like, yo, dude, I've been saying like new little like boppity boopities. That's what I call jokes now. Boppity boopities. Boppity goofs. 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 Funnies. Yeah, I've been doing little funnies, new funnies, man. but uh, I'm not. This, this podcast is all about me. I just want to talk about the stand. I want to show my appreciation to uh, the Stan Comedy Club. That is, uh, that's the best comedy club. I know we say we're opening a comedy club. We're working with a bar. We're working. We are opening a comedy club, but at the end of the day, love my people over at the stand. That's me. L- 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 Shout L- out L- the L- stand, L- man. L- Shout out the stand, man. They used to, you know, put me up sometimes when I was at the strip. Bitterness. <laughs> I used to go up there sometimes. Then I did a terrible roast battle with a boy named Dylan. It was the worst battle in the world. I should have never stole a joke from a man who cannot write jokes. <laughs> Just that, was the <laughs> 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 that was your first mistake, nigga. That was your first mistake. First off, I ain't that funny in the shit you claim. <laughs> hey, oh that was God. your first. It was all downhill from there, nigga. Oh, it was. Wow. <laughs> nah, it was a black. Everyone remember, people be- remember that Have you performed this dance since you, then? You know what's so crazy we didn't talk about? Nico was there that night that happened, bro. What? We should have brought that shit up, that awful rose. But Nico was there that night. Nico White, he was in the crowd. Well, no, he wasn't. Yes, he was. Nico was. White was there. Josh was. was there. I remember seeing both their faces, bro. Yeah. What? Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember watching that. They go walk out during the meltdown. <laughs> Nico was like, yeah. that's <laughs> that's the day Nico started wearing suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, not Nico Pav. Oh, Nico White. Nico White, black dude. Hi, right, man. <laughs> oh, really? He was there. Yeah, Nico. Oh, yeah. Nico don't don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> he I was. Wanna, I want to walk out my own pot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank like you so much for having me, guys. Yeah, Dude, bro. It's always man. a blast with you, Josh. You already yeah, know, man. We're, not, we're not. going to the top. You know, I tell people stick close because when this when this ship starts moving, this shit's moving, bro. Mm-hmm. This shit is moving, fam. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of I mean? like uh, comic strip. Move away from you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you we're moving it. on, bitterness. But you know, comic Killing strip. This. Listen, bro. <laughs> Been there, done that. You know, yeah. I hope you guys <laughs> have a good time. Get all the connections you can. There's gonna be a lot of great people. It's all downhill. I promise. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. Yo, by the way, one of the this, the second sentence Kevin says before he even does anything, before he sits down and does anything, he gets in here. He goes, "Yo, what's up, man? We do a little, we do the handshake." And then he goes, uh, "Yo, I hung out with DC last night, chilled, you know, whatever. We got fucked up." I didn't realize how much of a fucking curmudgeon DC is. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I didn't realize uh, that till yesterday, what do you mean, bro. Curmudgeon? You just upset. Upset? Yeah, bro. Remember when you were telling me, Kev, you you too you too uh, stressed about shit. I don't, I don't think I, what do you what do you remember when you're on shrooms? Nah, bro. It, this is when I was drinking. I what do you remember when you're sober? It, wait, what, okay, what do you mean? When what I was mean? drinking, I was like, damn, DC, a wild. I don't know what's gonna come out of your mouth when you when you. Yeah, yeah, I'm on a wild. Yo, yeah. bro, you a wild. I didn't at, realize how I'm much of a trying to be normal, bro. Yeah, bro. I never know what's gonna come out of your mouth. <laughs> Yo, Did you fight this? <laughs> so we have this. We have this. Um, we have this girl who's very PC. Sure. Very, but she tries to be cool around people of color. Right, 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 right. right? right, right. Don't you don't have to go. Too let's much call her to Patricia yeah, Carpenter. Let's, let's let's just. We're we'll, really deep. We'll we'll we're really deep, and this is not going to be cut. Absolutely. Right, so DC like she's like saying stuff, and DC keeps chopping her legs, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what you meant. Yo, <laughs> yeah, he just keeps chopping her down every time she tries. Give me to an s- example. Bro, I'm trying to think right now, bro. What was she we're talking you about? The cleaning. Trader you know, Joe's that ain't that good. Like, you get better stuff from the like, supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bro. Yeah. He just kept making her out to be racist, and she was like, "Yo, yo, I don't know. It, it, I can't remember too much." I, all banter. I like to banter with chicks. I like to, yeah. you know, give them some shit. You know, give me some yeah. shit. No, it was working, that's though. that's a pickup ploy. Not, was, I know that ploy. It was I believe so well, I studied it. <laughs> they call that negrying. Yeah, ah. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Negging, you know. <laughs> I call it nigging. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. He said my joke. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Jesus, why do we stop? <laughs> oh, uh, <my> Kevin. God. <laughs> he just goes. <laughs> I'm about to start. I'm about to start ending my shows. All right, thank you guys. I'm Dylan Negri. Have a good night, <laughs> <laughs> guys. I will be ending my shows with. I am Hi, not. I'm Dylan Negri. <laughs> <laughs> I am not DC Williams. I'm not DC Williams. <laughs> I, I'm not associated with any man named DC Williams. Um, I mean, people will be dumb, confused, bro. <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, this has been fun. Dude. I've been doing new material. Oh, by the way, we we already talked about power. That. Power <laughs> of social media. 
<laughs> I posted on so on, on the story. On um, my story, I said I did a show the tiny cupboard. Would love to do a house show sometime. And, and it I worked. On, booked on the house show within 24 hours. <laughs> And nice. it works. Because, by the way, and I will say this is not because I was an asshole and posted on social media. That's not what the answer of what I'm saying is. People messaged me and was like, dude, you're funny as fuck. What do you go? Yeah, well, I'll message. Yeah, you just don't ask enough people if you can perform. Exactly. But but, no, no. <laughs> Both but sometimes you have to, like, pass a certain point. Of course. To go back. And they're like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Yeah, obviously I'll give you a spot. Yeah. Right. So I just pop, this, if, if you're if you're just, in Brooklyn, uh, Manhattan, while that you're listening to this episode this Sunday, yeah, you're gonna set a tiny cup at ten o'clock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how show? Yeah. How show? Ten p.m. I might roll with you. Another good way to get. I'm booked. gonna be thrifting before then. Another so good way to get watch my stories too is to do good on stage, and then people are just like, "Hey, yo, you want to perform just again?" Like That's what, what I. Yeah. He's he's really good at no, talking. You said you not posted it. <laughs> you said you posted it. No, 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 no. But I'm saying I posted no, I the story, like and then true. people at the show were like, yeah. so, so you're saying just do good." Yeah. No, but by the way, by the way, and I'm not gonna say who. Dude, certain young comics who have a... <laughs> they yeah. suck. They're awful no, comics. Shut up. Let me, talk. Let me talk for a second. Okay. Certain young comics mm-hmm. who get a lot of uh, things quickly who are uh, in New York. I heard someone go, yeah, man, if I went to like a bar show and there was five people there, like, I'm better I'm better than that. Like, I'm, I'm out. Peace. Nah, I did a bar show two and days ago. I, I did the Tiny Cupboard for seven people. Uh-huh. And it led to me doing a house show. But there's a big. You're difference. saying don't think you're too big for us. I I I just I, I don't know what no no what I'm saying I is exactly like I understand when you get to a, like when I went to like uh, uh old man hustle les it's literally a bar but there's still times I'm like you never know what you can find here same thing oh. with Purdue, like you never know what you'll find it there was a dude right there this dude Matthew sitting in the front row he had no tooth I for basically I had a, a 12 minute set for. Nine of those minutes I like At one point I was just asking about How he lost a tooth And I was like Am I just digging myself A grave where everyone was like Shut the fuck up With this tooth shit Yep I've never heard a room of like the comics, the person working, the fucking the little the little candy bar, Matthew and his friends. I was like, how is this room this loud right now? They were they were cracking so, up. Seven audience members, the comics, and again, I'm not. Oh yeah, I killed so hard. All I'm trying to say is, it's like, dude, do. Sets Yo, rule comedy you, rules. Do new comics three people need to like chill, bro. I've I've ate a lot of shit in front of fifteen people, fifty people, two hundred people. But it's like you bro, never know where you're going to find it. They're they're so like they're getting they're getting shit so fast that they're it's going to take them longer to get better. Bitterness. See, that's <laughs> no, it is though. It, it it for real is. It like um, some certain people are like, oh, I'm here, I'm there, I'm doing this and still. I'm like, yeah. But where are you? Did you get past the comic strip live? No. Where are you crafting your material though? Where? Bro, like, who's your audience? You're saying? It, like, I mean, who's your audience? It's like, okay, I'm doing comedy for a year. Yeah. I'm at the stand. I'm here. I'm there. It's just like, but yeah. where are you, where are you getting up enough? To build your material out to prove it, so yes, it's tried and true. Yeah, so it works with all because you're getting seen too fast, not that good too early. Do you guys well, think when DC's? Uh, do you guys think when DC's thirty years into comedy, like he'll be able to tell people like, I've been passed by the comic strip three times. That's yeah. a world record, dude. I don't even give a fuck about the comic strip. I just think wait, wait I think new you're, comics uh, I think are you're wrong delusional. about. I don't know any new comic that within a year are at the stand all the time. We just interviewed one a couple of weeks ago. No, you guys maybe doing it. No. The Greek dude? No. Uh, He's not performing at, at the stand. Yeah, he did. He did He's, a uh, not show. a house show. No. He's doing like a privately produced show. That's fine. Everyone does privately produced yeah, shows. That's how you get yeah, better. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm also the, the bar AC show as the well. You We're know what dying. I mean? I've seen... Yeah, thank you, bro. I was thinking that too. I'm dying. I was like, either we can stop or turn this shit on. But, uh, no. Can I go take a leak? I'll be right back. No. We can, we're about to wrap up, though, <laughs> honestly. No, we're going to go for a little bit longer. 15 more bro, minutes, uh, right? No, yeah. no, nah, bro. I'm, I'm out of like 10 minutes, bro. All right, fine. 10 minutes. So, so go, go, take, go take a No, I, I see what you're saying. The, I think, well, co- well, I hate it when we're talking about stand up, but like, I, I think stand up fuck up when they start posting all their clips within the first six months. I get to read, and shit, I've done it. What I'm, bro, what I'm saying is, based on, based on my personal experience, bro, by the time certain types of people saw me, the whatever I was doing, was hitting enough. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I uh, you might think uh, people like two, three years in, they're like, oh, this, this, that, and the other. But it's still worry more about getting your shit dope. You know what I mean? Sure. So, so what? You, all you here? Listen. All you're trying to say is obviously yes. Get good before you post shit. That that's like obvious. Like, and it's just sometimes like DC. Like I feel like you should so, sometimes say things that's like a whole paragraph. Like, about by the way, probably while you were great at school, you'll you'll say a paragraph. To just be like, yo, get good before you post clips. 
Like, yeah, like, I wouldn't even at the go. end of the day, uh, I, I, actually, I kind of agree with him. I do hate that we're getting this deep into comedy, but, dude, there's a lot of clubs in New York City. If you're a comic and you're trying to get funny, bro, yeah, like, get funny. Like, that's another thing that I even said to you guys where it's, like, everyone, like, I think doing it the right way is something that people actually notice. So, like, if you in your head think you're doing it the right way. Bro, I went to Jersey to perform in someone's living room. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Comedy's comedy's comedy. You yeah. know what I mean? And how you practice is how you practice it. By All the I'm way, saying is that w- it wasn't a comedy show. He was hooking up with this chick, and his performance was, it was terrible. A com- it was a 100% comedy show. Yeah. It was a random living room. There was some art galleries. Was like I, 25 people there. Can I say something, though? What you said, uh, you said new comics will go to a bar show, and there's five people, and they'll leave. Mm-hmm. Right? That's way different than doing a, a show for seven people at the Tiny Cupboard. Right? Like, you ever go, like when you go to a bar show, and no one's paying attention, Right? Yeah, I I agree with now, you. I'm still gonna go. But well, what I'm saying is, but I'm saying is, you. But I respect never, the guy that leaves. But I'm saying two. I could have went to the tiny cover and also could just bomb. It could have been people that didn't care. I'm saying if you could have found something. Yeah. Even if it's like crowd work, like a, hey. like a, a way of just being calm. If someone says, "Hey man, fuck you, you little bitch," and then you're just like kind of calm up there in the pocket, yeah. you don't know what you can learn. Like I had no idea going to Momo's open mic back in the day how much I would learn. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like going up. Like, you never know. Like, oh, you know what? Like, dude, every time I'm like, ah, I'll just go to the stand for like two minutes. And then the, my night ends. And I'm like, wow, I learned so much. I sh- like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, oh, nah, I, 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 don't, I don't know what you're trying to say right there. Why? I go there and I'm like, I wasted my fucking time. Yeah, because you just fire. By the way, the other night, by the way, that's really funny. Time. <laughs> I just wasted my. That's a lot of young <laughs> comics. <laughs> I just wasted my time. <laughs> but that makes us fire. Yo, every mook who goes to the stand. Yeah. Well, that cost me sixty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Maybe one day I'll perform here. Uh, oh, these drinks are twenty dollars. Big J Ogerson farted on me. What? The other day, I smelled it. The other day, me and Dylan go there. Right now we're a little head uh, dope shit. We, we a little bit ahead, but we schedule our podcast out. We got Jim Florentine potential coming on. We Potentially. got um, Natalie Cuomo oh, hey, coming don't, on. Don't, we squash that don't, beef. Don't, don't, don't tell them everyone in case we don't get those people. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're gonna yeah. come out. I don't believe in that nah, shit. Talk it into creation. It's also, it's nah, he crazy. said he would. It's crazy how he many people come up to us. Like, Y'all listen to your pod. Bro. It's, it's getting wild. Stop, going, don't, don't pull up his ego. This is when we lose. You're that not hate. pulling up my ego. But he's like, yo, he's this, like, going, bro, the, I know we the boy, best. Wait, wait, wait. Do, do I do the podcast by myself? No. Nah. Okay, so uh, yeah, people do that. People come to us. I'm like, I can't believe people do that shit. I can't believe people watch. This is when they kick us out the place. I mean? I'm telling you, <laughs> this, is just, this is it, bro. <laughs> this is when it's all over. Trust it's, me. It's gonna happen. Like I don't, I don't. There is nobody. Like, why wouldn't people come do the pot? You know what I mean? I could have said they could do anything else, but you know, be surprised, bro. You ask a question, you know. Mm. Mm. That's all I'm saying. La da da. You know? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all wanted to say bitterness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what well, well, you can't though, because <laughs> but he got genuine for once. <laughs> Guys, he's learning. He was he's learning. He's <laughs> learning. You know. Um, no. So Yo, Josh, you're engaged, dude. Yeah. You guys know oh that? my god. Congrats. Yeah, man. Josh is engaged, man. Yeah. Dude. What, what, what's yeah. what, is this the third or fourth one? This mm-hmm. is the second woman I've ever engaged to. Okay, yeah. second woman. Yeah. Didn't learn your lesson, huh? No, no. Well, I had the baby with the first one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would, are you and, and that's why I this got engaged. This one's gonna want another kid. Well, this one's engaged pre-baby, mm-hmm. so it's a different type of engaged. Pre-ga- you really pre- want to do it? Pre-gagey, as they call it. Yeah, yeah. it's a pre-gagey baby. Was the first fiance? <laughs> was she white? White girl? She was. Uh, well, wasn't yeah, she was race. white. She was white. Okay. She was half Dominican. Oh, she was she. Oh, okay. yeah. I she was but like she was like a white Dominican. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. No. I was just, yeah, just going to say that you're going to have we're, a Well, you guys are invited. We're, we're going to be doing shows there. I got two places booked already. Oh, God. You're going to do shows are, at your wedding? I'm going to be there. Yeah, in oh, Honduras. 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 Oh, are you yeah. seriously? You're going to do shows there? Yeah. yeah. We have a theater. Yeah, we have a theater and we have another uh, I mean, if a you hotel. Don't, if, if, if I don't get flown out to do it. I mean, abandoned real estate isn't really a theater. Yeah, you heard what he said. He said, if I don't get flown out. <laughs> and he thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> yeah, he he I'm crazy. <laughs> I would fool guys, myself Guys, up. guys, 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 guys. Yeah, guys. go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I can get flown out. <laughs> Come on, you don't see that tat on the wrist, bro? Oh, by the way, <laughs> I came to a realization when I got fucked up. Oh, my up God. I didn't realize you had no need for apologies on your wrist. What? I'm going to be real with you. I did not see that tattoo. <laughs> Guys, unbelievable, bro. Hey, yo, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How are you going to cover that? Like, what are you going to cover that with? <laughs> like, like, eventually. Don't jump. <laughs> don't jump. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I'm about to get doped up right here, bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting doped up, 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 up right here, here bro. Oh, by the way, so when I was, I was saying it was when I was fucked up, it was also funny. So I got this tat. Oh, okay. And I never know why I loved it so much. I remember. I don't know either. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shut up, DC. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That, that was fire. The other, I just did. I was like, is this okay? He stripped no, no, no. his flesh. No, no, no. I so got himself you tattooed. Know, you know what's so funny? So that's what I realized the other day. I, I, I said it to uh, um, Carolyn. I go. You know, when DC first saw his tattoo, he made a joke. He goes, "Wait, did you, did you get yourself tattooed on you?" <laughs> and then I realized when she was making this, and I was telling her to make alterations to the drawing, mm-hmm. I got myself tattooed on me. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro. It looks long like skeleton. It looks like no, no, I like it and still. Then it's tall. You could tell yeah, he's, he's tall as shit. Shit, <laughs> that's me. Is so is that how you're getting so far ahead? You're worshiping Satan now? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> that not Satan, bro. Oh, yeah. Yo, this is it's definitely, gonna, definitely a if he, if he when when Dylan when Dylan breaks through and and starts selling tickets and all that shit, yeah. people are gonna like assume Illuminati shit. Yeah, they're gonna be like, this guy, yo, he got the touch, yo, he fucks kids. Yeah. Hey, 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 yo, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'm like, if this nigga's in the Illuminati, nigga, we need more yo, views. Dylan, take it in the butt, yo. <laughs> Oh, oh, the kids fuck me. Yeah, the kids fuck you, dude. <laughs> That's how Illuminati I am. I'm dead. DC's gonna tell everyone for the bitterness. He be like, "That boy's <laughs> fucking them kids." <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's so funny. One day I'm like, I'm in Hollywood, I'm just somewhere, and like, you know, like laying out by the pool. With my wife, he's like in Washington D.C. banging on like some stone car. He's like, "The door's right here. I swear, you can go through. Dylan's in there." Why the fuck would I be in Washington D.C.? That's where the Illuminati door is. Get yeah, with no. oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. DC and DC. Mm. I, I, nah, don't do that. Don't you, <laughs> don't, you, you didn't mean that, dog. Yeah, I was like, you didn't mean that. You, that, you just that thought just about that. You, and tied it together. Nah, shout bro. out to that though. Fast thinking, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. fast. Gotcha, that's though. what you do. You think on our feet, you know. Yeah, yo. This is a master class in improv, guys. That's right, what stop, this is. Stop, 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 stop. And um, this is Dope Dub and Dying. Is he ending the show? Nah, no, 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 no. Why he can't end the show? He just realized what? Because we don't. Because we didn't say. The I d- attempt to say it at the same himself. time. Oh. They can't. They, no these motherfuckers can always get to say it at the same time. You have to say it with someone else. It's, it's so it's, annoying. It's, it's like the nuclear code. But Kevin's always a nobody, second nobody behind. Nobody launches a nuclear missile. Right, you need there's backup. There's two keys. Yeah, there's yeah. redundancy. So when we yeah. open and end the show, we say, Dope have been dying. And we say it together. But you need two nuclear keys to do it. It's like DC ending the episode. Right. And can't key. do that. You need it doesn't pass the key, you need, man. You need, a key. you need another key holder. Yeah, yeah, bro. yeah bro. You need another I, key I, I holder. I love I love Josh trying not this to is, lose brain cells. This <laughs> <is> just, <laughs> yeah, this makes total sense to me, bro. Yeah, bro. You guys, yeah. <laughs> we three, we're three. Yeah, I love Josh. You know, nuclear <laughs> missiles, absolutely, yeah. bro. I love Josh. You know, go DC. Yeah, you're the dumb one. What are these kids talking about? Josh, Josh is, like, is like, I should have shot myself this morning. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Like, I was. I should have, but I came here. <laughs> and now I really want to do it. It could all be so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bitterness. <laughs> You're just going to do it. <laughs> Bitterness. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, this is hey, so ain't much fun. got nobody to love. <laughs> Bitterness. Boy, better, better kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, dude. Are you Better than being alive. You, don't want to you, kill you, ever, you ever wonder if DC oh, just. It's joke. so much projection. <laughs> He'll just tell you things that he wants to do. He's like, I bet you woke up this morning and wanted to kill yourself. You looked in the mirror like, you dumb asshole. It's DC like, Williams has said some of the worst shit in the world to me like after what? like performing at a show or like before a show. Oh, he's that's like, right. Before a show, he's like, he's like. He's like, you know, you're so, you're so funny, like when we're like talking in person. <laughs> like, he's like, you're so quick. You're so quick with it, you know. You 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 just so funny and quick with it. But but he didn't have to say but. He was just like, but in person, (laughs) you know, like. And I was like, you're a bitter motherfucker. (laughs) I don't care. Let me tell you something. Josh hates. Let me tell you, Josh. Hates you for that. By I the know. Way, I was talking to you Josh about his bro. I forget. I feel like Josh. Josh hates me because yeah, I, yeah, I yeah, told yeah, you yeah. what I told him. And he was just like, uh, I was like, I think Josh is more sensitive than I thought. He was like, <laughs> no, he was no, like, yo, what you would you say to him? I was like, uh, uh, he was like, yeah, you should have said that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, DC's the least sensitive out of all of us, bro. He is, DC I couldn't believe that yeah, shit. Got the strength of bitterness. Callous, got a callous, like a bulletproof vest. Got a callous. I don't feel nothing. I hate you. <laughs> DC, are you shot? No, but I hate you. <laughs> that bullet was rusty that. and old. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's his superpower. <laughs> that 
<laughs> he just tells you your weapon is old and useless. <laughs> Thanos? <laughs> no, How old is that Thanos. glove? <laughs> Them jewels must be thousands of years old. Garbage. What, no diamonds? <laughs> you should see me when I snap my finger. <laughs> at the crowd laughing. <laughs> I love that. I love Whoa. that. That was perfect. You saw that. Was perfect. You saw that. Wait, 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 you saw that power. You saw the power right there. That statement. Ready, 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 ready. Comic strip. <laughs> Oh. What is the comic, <laughs> strip? comic strip and bitterness? <laughs> what is the comic Mess strip? Mess it together, even... yeah, <laughs> DC even... will. I think the new comic strip is called Toped Up Comedy Club. Oh. Hey, boy. Get your tickets August Oh, 6th. I just realized I can cut his mic from here. Imagine my mic was never on. All right, guys, you ready? Oh. This is. Yeah, can you wrap it up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with guys, 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 you can't. It only I, takes three, wait, bro. Wait, wait, it, it, <laughs> you can only wrap it up if you, if, if you bump mics. After you just oh, laugh, you gotta bump mics. mics. Mm. Yeah, I'm not real, I wasn't feeling that either. Sorry, I just, I, I love, I love, I love it, tell. Um, Ross yeah. is dope too, but just, I don't know why. Every time I just go on Netflix and I see the whole bumping mics, mm. the whole, the whole idea is like after they hit a land of joke. Yeah. They bump mics. Yeah, bump mics, yeah. Like, cheers. <laughs> I hate it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I hate it. What, wait, what happened? But what happened? Bitterness? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pick up your mic, DC. Pick up your mic. Pick up your mic. Pick up your mic. Didn't have to explain <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 no, no, <laughs> and Kevin's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they pop mics. They they pop mics. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> no, I've seen uh, who I saw do that recently. So there was somebody's two people were hosting. It might have been. No, I just love when people try to add things to like comedy. Like, and I, I, I add things, but it's like, you know, what two comics have never done. Cheers on my It's just so funny to me. I hate comedians. Yo, son, this guy kills one time at the stand. <laughs> and now he's talking shit about Yo, two tell, of the more famous, tell, more talented comics. Oh, I love you. losers are bumping no, mics. I never said that. Oh, my God, but dude. <laughs> you're going to need a couple more 666 tattoos. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go after a towel. No, I'm just joking. I just, every time I uh, walk by, on, uh, not walk by, I watch by on, uh, on Netflix. It's just like, Giggle, sorry. It was a, a thought of Makes mine. Makes me giggle. But guys, this is Delta and Dying. Give him the my <laughs> Sunday <laughs> morning <laughs> smoke <laughs> show. This was the first time. You started at the same time. And I had to stop to cough, bro. Yo. I don't understand you, Kevin. You never say it at the same time as Dylan, bro. You literally started perfectly. <laughs> the literally Sunday. <laughs> you ruin everything. You ruin it all the time. <laughs> the guys, show is ruined. Bitter, bitter. It's bitterness. It's never on purpose, bro. You think Doped up and bitter. Hey. Hey, hey, DC, you want to get a drink at the bitter end? <laughs> bro, I know you felt that, bro. It was about to happen perfectly. It Yo, can't stop to cough, bro. We always do no, it perfectly. We always do it perfectly. That was that one. That would have yeah, been the most perfect one. Though. Kept said, oh, wait. <laughs> that would have been the most perfect one. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, this is Delta Been Dying. The, the Sunday, Sunday Morning Smoke show. show. Guys, we'll see you next week. I'm Dylan Negri. That's Kevin Sanchez. That's DC, That's DC Williams. Williams. And our That's special Joshua guest, Powell. Joshua Powell. Guys, shout out to Natty Ice, our producer who couldn't be here, but she'll be editing this. So, guys, a little <laughs> special shout out to Natty Ice. Thank you so much for watching. Natty Ice. We'll see you Watch, next like week. subscribe so we can pay her more. Love you. August 6th. And pay ourselves. I like how we said so we can pay Natty more, but didn't say it into the mic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. This is Delta Been Dying. Peace. Bye.